Climate Clever Communities project has brought together a growing movement of people that care about the future of Northern Ireland and want to put it on the map in terms of community-led climate action. Over the past few months we've had the privilege to work with community leaders in rural and urban areas across Northern Ireland. From community groups to chambers of commerce, schools, food banks to the arts and cultural sector, the interest in this project has been overwhelming and the stories emerging have been really inspirational. The projects speak for themselves and here's just a snapshot. This project that we're delivering with Glenbank was generously funded by the UK Community Renewal Fund, helping them to deliver a community-led climate action plan. So over the past few months, we've been working closely with them to help them not only to elevate their ambition and to think of different ways that they want to use the money, but also how we can like practically assist them on the ground. There's so many different benefits beyond the environmental impact. It's really enhanced community cohesion, social inclusion, we've seen a massive impact on the volunteers health and well-being as well. We call it our, our wee haven, or just a wee tranquility. It's, it's a wall garden. We're off the Laganeel Road and you wouldn't you wouldn't know it. You think you're away in the countryside somewhere. And when you look at it from a wee seed and you get months down the lane you actually say I have done that. It's, it's just it just lifts you. It just lifts your spirit. This is our community garden uh, behind Wolf Hill Centre in Laganeel. And not unlike Glenbank, our community garden is open to a wide variety of people within the local community, from pensioners down through to the, the nursery schools, local nursery schools. So Chris from Keep Northern Ireland Beautiful has passed on the knowledge to us of how to grow better and more produce, which enables us to reach out into the community and give whatever overspill of produce we have out into the Laganeel community. What we hold in high priority is self-sustainability. So the funding has allowed us to procure the tools to keep on top of the garden. Well, we've had great feedback from everybody and you know, everybody has really enjoyed it. The Multiculture Club is a very creative project that was born out of lockdown where we started a little food swap between myself, uh, the Cultured Club, which focuses on fermented foods, and Anaka Women's Collective. The Anaka Women's Collective is a support group for women who are in the asylum system to share skills, to educate, to celebrate one another. We collaborated to share our food, share our interest in food, share the fermented foods, their cultural foods, and out of that came the idea that I have this wonderful kitchen, and here I have this wonderful group of women who have you know, such an interest in food, such a cult beautiful cultural background, and we basically started to merge. We have been very grateful to receive the funding. This has allowed us to move beyond just simply working to recipe and to, to making products, to building a relationship with our wholesalers, to allow us to access this food, which would be essentially on its way to, to waste, on its way to landfill. We find that it's a very safe, place and without being too contrived about it or trying to engineer it, just things are really happening quite organically and, and it's a very beautiful thing. Here you have a different uh, culture, different language, different colour, different uh, religion. So we are, we are here like, um, like family, another family. You, you leave your family there and you find another family here. The Sustainability Giants are a group of businesses from the Ards and North Down Borough Council that are working together to create a sustainable tourism destination. The Sustainable Showcase takes place on the 18th of June and as part of it we're running an event called Paddle with a Purpose. Paddle with a Purpose is simply um, a canoe experience where you get to paddle out to one of the local islands. We carry out a litter pick on the islands, so that's collecting all the marine litter from the shore. 
We carry out a Leave No Trace session where people learn about the ethics of Leave No Trace and the effect of marine litter on the local environment. And then we have hot chocolate and s'mores before paddling back to base. The Sustainable Giants are working to contribute towards sustainable tourism in the Ardsborough. We hope that the project will encourage and inspire other business networks to follow suit. Through our Cash for Clabber project, we've seen the amount of sports clothing that was being going to waste each um, year in school. So we decided to make a difference and come together and start exchanging our sports gear. Well, we're all living in very challenging economic times. And again, we realise the amount of money that families are out on a daily basis at the minute. So having an opportunity to help them is something that we wanted to do in our own local school. We're so grateful to keep Northern Ireland beautiful for giving us this opportunity to turn this dream project into reality. This project is a really practical way of reducing textile waste. In the near future, we're hoping to expand our project into exchanging uniforms in the coming year. As you can see, we're in a very underused outdoor space here at the Playhouse at the moment. It's a space that was formerly a beautiful garden. And what we're hoping to achieve with this project is to bring that garden back to life, but with a renewed focus on growing and making it a productive garden for the communities. We're absolutely delighted with this funding from the Climate Challenge Fund because it's enabling us to really take hold of a space here at the Playhouse and create something beautiful for the future that will live beyond the lifetime of the Artitude project. So we're going to be working very closely with Lilliput Theatre. Um, this is a theatre and drama group for adults with learning disabilities that's been based here at the Playhouse and is part of our community for a number of years now. They are the biggest users of the space currently, so we're very excited to be able to give them a space that has life in it and that they can really use and be part of, of developing and growing. Our big plan for the next 18 months is to work towards a climate arts festival here in Derry, Londonderry. Um, so we think it's really important to use the arts and creative practice in engaging people around climate action and that's what we hope the festival will achieve. So during the pandemic, I used to walk up and down this street and the bins were overflowing with single-use coffee cups. And it got me thinking, I'm about to open a refill store, a cafe and event space here in Lisburn. And we were determined that when we opened, we wouldn't be adding to that mountain of single-use plastic waste. I was exploring what we could do and I found a company that makes returnable cups and that has piloted them all over the world. But Northern Ireland still hasn't piloted this. We're really excited about working with 10 other local businesses who are all part of the Chamber of Commerce here to have a coffee cup scheme that allows people to grab a cup of coffee when they want it uh, without it costing the earth. I'm leading on the project where we have partnered with the Foil Baby Bank on introducing reusable and sustainable options for their baby bags. In the UK, 8 million nappies are used every day. Disposables take, as far as we know, 500 years to decompose in landfill. The more that we bring cloth nappies to the forefront, the more people that we can reach and explain the benefits of the environmental impact as well as the financial impact of using disposables versus cloth is just unreal. The Plant Alchemist uh, is a plant shop. We sell lots of indoor plants and um, we run workshops in the community and we also have a cafe where you can get uh, tray bakes, baked goods and locally sourced coffee. We are creating a space that is going to be a community hub, a place where people can meet, where they can socialise, but also where we can um, involve our local community 
in sustainable projects. So one of the projects that has been funded uh, is looking at a community garden. So looking at sustainable ways of growing fruit and vegetables, herbs, and getting the community involved. I think receiving this funding has allowed us uh, to take some time to think about how we develop innovative projects around dealing with issues around sustainability in our community and engaging the community in a way that will get them thinking about waste management and climate change. We now need to build on the success of this pilot scheme and extend it to other communities across Northern Ireland. We've achieved so much. But there's so much more to do. There is no power for change greater than a community discovering what it cares about. Be a climate clever community. <laughs>